before you've definitely seen these they're so nice and cool though I have a pretty busy day I'm on a deadline with my day job and I've got a few things I need to edit I needed to vlog today what else am I doing I have a meeting later this afternoon a potential new client who's also a good friend of mine so it's a meeting but it's fun what else oh and then I have pottery later tonight I just wanted to hop on and kind of describe a few of the things I guess that I showed earlier in the video. I was gonna do a voiceover, but I know that I'm not gonna have time. <laughs> so I'm just gonna talk about it now. Stay where you're meant to go. Thank you. I know I've spoken before about how the night prior to waking up early is very important to me. I want to be really transparent. Every day does not look like this. I probably, I wake up, I'd say three or four days a week um, around this time. Wednesdays are a little bit earlier and Thursdays are my day to sleep in a little bit. So typically Monday, Tuesday, Friday, I wake up a little before six. And then on Wednesday, I wake up a little before 5.30. And then on Thursdays, I let myself sleep until, I don't set my alarm until eight, but I typically wake up before that because I can't sleep in anymore. It's just my life now. So anyway, back to my original point. So I lay out my clothes that I'm gonna go work out in. It's just really helpful to not have to think as much as possible in the morning. I know my routine. I get up, well, getting up is strong. I roll, mostly. I roll out of bed, try and tiptoe out of the room not to wake Zan or Ziggy up, then go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, brush my hair, flash water on my face, then I get dressed for Pilates, get my water, and I typically go like 
right out the door. Me getting out of bed actually takes a few minutes. I probably don't get out of bed until like 6.10. Yeah, so I get out of bed around 6.10, do all of that, walk out the door by 6.22 at the latest. I know this is like oddly specific, but I have it down to a science at this point because thankfully the Pilates studio I go to is right up the road. Then when I get home, Zan and I have gotten in the habit um, just because Ziggy's getting older and it's also just good for all of us, not just her. But we've started taking her on walks in the morning and in the evening. And sometimes they're longer, like sometimes we walk to the park, but typically they'll just be a little lap around the neighborhood. And then Zan goes to work. Then after that, I typically just like shower, get ready, have a coffee, probably my second coffee. And then I'll just start my day. My day job is like the stereotypical nine to five. So before that, I'm catching up on any editing that I need to do. I'm editing the vlog if I need to do that. I'm working on a new project. Um, today, I need to work on the a bunch of different documents for the pitch for the meeting this afternoon. Once I sit down at my desk, which I'm going to do after this, so you'll see it. I go through and just immediately write down what I need to do that day right off the top of my head and then I kind of sit with it and then I go through and rewrite it out and prioritize it. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's just my process. Then what else do I do? Yeah, and then pretty much once the work day is started, I'm gonna be so real, it's boring to film because I'm pretty much, I'm in my office right now filming. I'm just sitting in my chair working all day. So it's not anything crazy to watch. Maybe I'll show a little clip or something. It's always just me typing. I also, oh, I didn't mention this, but I have been getting in the habit of journaling every single morning again. Actually, I've been journaling like multiple times a day because just with everything really ramping up, so I'm just constantly, I actually have my journal just on my desk now because if I'm working and I'm just starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed, I just like start writing and it's actually been really, really helpful. I think by the time this video goes up, it will already technically be fall. I'm obviously filming it prior to this, but so it's not technically fall quite yet, but Nashville has been feeling so much like fall recently that I kind of just wanted to dive into my autumn content. So Tori, who the vlog has seen before, I think, I don't know, you've definitely heard her before if you haven't seen her. She's really good at time blocking, which she's been talking to me about and encouraging me to try. She is actually really sweet and offered to, like for me to send her my daily calendar and she will time block for me so that I can try it out. I can see how it would be beneficial because like I can get so scattered and that's one thing about my productivity is if like today I'm gonna have to really regiment when I'm doing what because I have so much to do. I might start doing that and just kind of, I don't know that I'll have time today but I need to write out my schedule and I'm excited to try the time blocking. So if anyone has tried time blocking and you really like it or you hate it, just let me know down in the comments Hello. I know all of you can relate to that of just having so much to do in one day and just starting to feel a little bit overwhelmed about it. So that's my goal is to just try and trying to eliminate as much stress as I can. You know. So full transparency, I did a lot, a certain amount of time to film this part of the video. So I don't know that I'll chat with the camera later, but if I have time, I definitely will. So thank you guys so much for watching and let's get back to my productive day. They are just so hydrated. What is happening there?